Good afternoon and welcome to Position Sizing, my take on the markets. It's Wednesday, October 13, 2010, and before we begin, I caution you to invest at your own risk. I don't share in your profits, and so I don't share in your losses. Today I want to take a look back at T12, which spans from 1998 to 2007. Terry Laundrie originated T-theory and discovered T12. For more information on Terry and his fascinating thoughts on the markets, please see his free website called T-Theory Observations. The first question in constructing any time symmetry is where to start. Under Terry's rules, T12 starts at the advanced decline peak on April 2nd, 1998. As you can see, the price later made a peak in July while the advanced decline line made a lower high. In my interpretation of Terry's work, I would start T12 in the middle of that divergence. The second question in constructing T's is where to put the center post. We had a complex bottom in 2002-2003 with three distinct lows in the 775 to 800 range on the S&P. But none of these lows made any divergence pattern with the advanced decline line. This gives us five possible options on where to put the center post. Option one is the first low in July of 2002. Option two is the second low in October of 2002. Option three is halfway between the first and the third lows. Option four is halfway between the second and the third lows. And option five is the third low in March of 2003. Note, option five is not an option under Terry's rules because using the final low does not project a top. It projects the nulled echo low. Now let's review the various projections in comparison to the complex topping pattern that we had in 2007. I've gone back in and drawn all the T's. I haven't shown them here, but here is the projected top dates using all the different options. Turns out using option one, the first low, was useless as a center post under both start date theories. Using the second low, option two, Terry's start date projected an April 5, 2007 top, this first red line here, while the split divergence start date nailed the mid-February preliminary top at 1460 as shown in the green line. Using option three, halfway between the first and the third lows, Terry's start date projected a June 25th top about three weeks before the mid-July actual top. The split divergence start date, using option three, projected a May 5th top, which was useless. Option four, if you recall, was halfway between the second and the third lows. Using option four, Terry's start date projected a September 5 top here in red about five weeks before the October actual top. Using option four, the split divergence start date nailed the mid-July top at 1550, denoted here in green. Finally, using the split divergence start date in option five, the final low produced a projected top in mid-December, just a week or so before the new downtrend started for good. That's it for today. Until next time, happy trading.